Okay, uh, Mr. Dyke, over to you, please. Thank you so much, Wayne and members of the panel. That's not too loud, is it? Close. This will be perhaps the single most boring part of your day, I'm afraid. Council set the scene of what took place in November 2019, and indeed an overall picture of what the structure and the the, the, the kind of truth of the Iranian situation is. My, my role is simply to state the names loudly and to reiterate some things that you've already said, that Hamid has already said, Council has already said, in respect to participation at this event. We feel that saying the names of those that we consider responsible for these acts has a uh, has an important uh, emotional function for those in Iran who may be watching, listening today. And it's for that reason I am going to uh, review the names, the functions, the roles of people uh, who had those roles in November 2019. Not necessarily now, of course, Hamid and, and others have mentioned that some of these people um, have changed. All the names that I will be citing will be the positions that they had in November 2019 in Oban uh, 1398. I will reiterate a couple things, again, for the purposes uh, of, of this process, of saying their names again. And it's the fact that what we're trying to do here is discover the truth about the events into, in November 2019. And that's why we reached out Council reached out to try to engage the officials concerned and writing directly to those individuals. And as you've said, uh, panel said, Wayne Jordash has said, that uh, they have not provided any response. And indeed, there's been follow-up letters, the last on the 18th of, of October. It's just important that we wanted their voices to be heard just as we want other voices to be heard in the, in the process in the next couple of days. In setting out the names who we believe have a case to answer, I will proceed on a geographic basis from national leaders to provincial and then county and other local leaders in an alphabetical order of the province and where relevant county or district of where they came from according to its English spelling. So for all those looking for a Persian ordering of this process, um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give it to you. However, don't let that mask the national character of what took place. Clockwise from northwest, from East Azerbaijan, across to the north to Alborz, Tehran and Golestan, from the south central Kerman and Fars, swinging back up to Boucher, Khuzestan, to Harmahal, Bakhtiar in the south, southwest, to Kermanshah, Kurdistan, and the centrally located Isfahan. This was a nationwide human rights crisis. Those who I'll name today were deployed in 12 of Iran's 31 provinces. In one, Khuzestan, there are officials from six of its districts or counties, Shahristan, from Tehran province from four, from most one or two. From southwestern Boucher province, only one province level official is identified. Now, for reasons of comprehension, mainly for the members of the panel, I'm going to be using Persian names. This is not meant to ignore or denigrate or deny the existence of place and people's names used by the Arab, Azerbaijan, Turkmen, Turkic, Baluchi, Kurdish, or other communities. This is only, only to simplify the task of the panel so they're just dealing with one name. So my apologies to all my friends from those communities. Council's touched on one or two issues. I want to touch on them again. Two features will come up in this process over and over again that emerge from the evidence. First is the primacy and the role and the function of the Supreme Leader and his office in setting policy direction. And secondly, its reach. And by that I mean its command responsibility. 
It proceeds from the national to the local, where provincial, county or district Shahristan and local officials implement instructions handed down from the very top. In this regard, in the rather boring set of names that I'm about to say, panel will recognize a pattern, a clear pattern as we proceed through the provinces. I will often name provincial or county officials by way of a group, the governor, police, IRGC, the commander, and maybe the public and revolutionary court prosecutor. Why is that? It's because each one of those officials in their respective branches of the Nizam, of the, of the system, are members of, and uh, this has already been foreshadowed, the Shuraya Ta'amin Ostan, or the, the Provincial Security Council, the PSC. And through each of these structures, each of them share joint command responsibility. Now, again, it's been touched on before, but I'm going to say it again. The legal authority and command responsibility of the Provincial Security Councils flows from Article 176 of Iran's Constitution. It states that the Supreme Council of National Security, Shuraya Ali Amniyat Mali, will be, and I quote, established to secure national interests, preservation of the Islamic Revolution, national sovereignty, territorial integrity of the Islamic Republic, and that it will be presided over by the President. The law goes on to set out its, uh, the, the article goes on to set out its composition and provides for sub-councils. Now, the most important for the, purpose, for the purposes that we're here today, the core is the National Security Council. Again, we've talked about this before. The Shuraya Amniyat Meli. Again, presided over by the president, but in practice at the time of November 2019, the president used his prerogative to appoint a representative, the Minister of the Interior. Its composition as well includes all parts of the Nizam, of the order, including security service, judiciary, and so on. That, that collective function uh, is, will come back to over and over and over again. And again, that model is replicated at the provincial level and at the county level. The law on the establishment of the responsibilities of the country's security council, it's the name of the law, crystallizes this command responsibility in the chain which forms a core component of council's contention. Simply, it is this, that the order, from t the order to use lethal force goes, proceeds from the Ministry of the Interior to the provincial governor, who in turn transmits it to Shahistan, to the district, district or, or county, where, ultimate, where the ultimate decisions are made. And it's in this way that that command responsibility moves from the supreme leader at the top to the provincial, to the county, to the local. Now, there's another layer to this command responsibility too. And in a way, it's a constitutional uh, contradiction. And it's that the Article 137 of the Constitution states that each of the ministers is accountable to the president and the parliament in respect to his duties. The Minister of the Interior, in turn, appoints the provincial governors, they're subject to cabinet approval, and they're answerable to him. Yet at the same time, the security structures in which they're operating at a provincial level are, un and are under the supervision of the general staff of the armed forces and are accountable to the Supreme Leader, as set out earlier by council. The Supreme Leader is the Commander-in-Chief or Supreme Commander, even if their deployment and its manner is, is a function of a, of a provincial decision, collective decision. Now, I'm going to go for the names. So I'm sorry if this will become a bit boring, but um, we feel it has a, an important function for people in Iran to know and to hear that us sitting here today will enunciate the names of the people that we believe are responsible and should be held accountable for what happened in Aban 1398. And we'll start with uh, Ali Khamenei, the Supreme Leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran. We, ha I have, a f we have a few pictures uh, from the Faces of Crime website, which I'll ask the tech team to show, if possible, if you could move, there we are. We don't have all of them. These are just a sample uh, to, that are representative of what's on the website. There's a, there'll be about 20 or 30. 
Ali Khamenei, Article 110 of Iran's constitution sets out his functions and authority. It's to define the general policies of the Islamic Republic after consultation with the State Expediency Council and the supervision and pro a proper execution of the general policies of the regime. I mean, we talk, touched on, on, on his function uh, um, certainly enough. Next slide, please. Hassan Rouhani then president of the Islamic Republic of Iran, took part in those decisions in the context of the, the, the councils that, we, uh, that we've been addressing. As head of the government too, as per Article 137 of the Constitution, as I've said, each of the ministers is accountable to him in respect of their duties. Next slide, please. Ali, Kha Ali Shamkhani, also a member, and above all, the, the, the Secretary of the Supreme National Security, and likewise played a role in the context of the the, the security council, um, Shurai Amniyat Keshvar. Next slide, please. Ibrahim Raisi, now the president, then the judiciary, responsible for the judiciary. I just want to linger on him just for a little, for a second. As, was, as the head of the judiciary, he's responsible for the procedures of lawful arrest of individuals. Similarly, if, he's, if they are to be charged, he's responsible for the conduct of the trials which follow. The scope of the the scale, scope and scale of the arbitrary arrests and, the, and his failure to act on, the, on, on international uh, opprobrium and, and, and concern expressed regarding the, 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 the scope and scale and the magnitude of those arrests are, uh, uh, represent and constitute one of the acts of which we, we, will hold, we hold him responsible. Next slide, please. Abdul Reza Rahmani Fazli, Again, uh, Council's already touched on him, member of the, of the Ministry of the Interior at, this, at the time and, and a, 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 a member of the, national, the Supreme National Security Council. Saeed Mahmoud Alavi, next slide please. Then Minister of Intelligence, whose own role despite its cabinet position is de facto carried out in consultation with the Supreme Leader's office, carries a joint shared responsibility for the killing and detaining of protesters during the November 2019 demonstrations. Next slide, please. Hossein Ashtari, Commander-in-Chief of the Police Forces from 19, March 2015 to the present. Next slide. Hossein Salami, Commander-in-Chief of the Islamic, the, 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 the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Hossein Tayyib, next slide, please. Head of the IRGC's own intelligence organization. Worth bearing in mind that the, the IRGC's intelligence organization maintains their own uh, detention centers, they have power of arrest, and they themselves undertake these arrests. And in the coming days, you'll see how those were uh, uh, arbitrary. Hossein Atayib, uh, we've got Hossein Atayib. Um, Habibullah Sayari, head of the Joint Staff of the Islamic Republic. Next slide, Qolam Reza Soleimani. Head of the Basij organization, a subsidiary organ of the IRGC, its plain clothed personnel took part in some of the most egregious attacks, acts during the unrest, notably by use of uh, leith, yeah, firearms and shooting at the, at the heads and at the torsos of the demonstrators, as, uh, as council has already touched on. Mojtaba Zolnuri, I don't, I, okay, we can't, can't do have for um, as parliamentary representative on the National Security Council, he shows that this, the importance of this individual is the legislative function as being part of the Shuraya Amniyatimili, the, the National Security Council. Hassani Karami, next slide please. Commander-in-Chief of the Special Units of Iran's Police. And I think this is probably where the slides run out. Habibullah Jan Nasadi, oh, we have him. Uh, deputy head of the special units, uh, and the last of the, uh, or penultimate of the, of the national uh, figures before we get on to the provinces. And finally, with regard to the national figures, Mohammed Pakpur, Commander-in-Chief of the uh, IRGC's ground forces. Now, before moving to the provinces, I just want to reiterate something that Hamid, uh, that Council has already touched on, and that's the the role that these individuals collectively had in the shutting down, the cutting off of the internet. And that evidence uh, will show that 
some th of, 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 of the at least 304 that have been confirmed as having been killed, this is the figures used that Amnesty International researched, uh, more than 220 of these took place within 48 hours of the internet shutdown. So that is a collective responsibility at that level. Now we move to the provinces in alphabetical order by, in English. Albors. Abdul Azizullah Shahbazi, the governor. Abbas Ali Mohammed Zion, commander in chief of the police forces. Said Yusuf Mulayi, commander of the IRGC forces. Jahan Shah Zainuddini, commander of the special forces, uh, special police forces. In Fardis County of Albors province, Abul Fazl Inonlu, governor. Ehsan Alizadeh, commander of IRGC forces. Bijane Janati, police commander in Fardis. Hossein Jahan Shahlu, public and revolutionary prosecutor of Fardis. In respect to Karaj County of Albors province, Ghafur Ghasimpur, governor. Mohammed Muazami Gudarzi, commander of the police forces. Haji Reza Shah Karami, public and revolutionary prosecutor. Majid Zanjani, commander of IRGC and Basij forces in the city of Karaj. Mehdi Kherpur, commander of Basij forces, but the Basij base in the Abu Zar Mosque in Karaj. In respect to Boucher province, Abbas Jamshidi, provincial governor, Ali Razmju, commander of the Imam Sadiq Corps in Boucher, Khalil Vaizi, commander of the police forces, Ali Hassanpur, commander and sorry, public and revolutionary prosecutor. In Char Mahal Bakhtiari province, Reza Nasiri, commander of Naja forces, special units in Chahar, special forces. Ali Mohammed Akbari, commander of the Qamar Bani Hashem Force Corps in the province. This is a, uh, the, 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 the Qamar Bani Hashem is almost like a, a provincial based IRGC uh, force. In Shahri Kord County of the province, Abdul Ali Arjang, governor of Shahri Kord. Ali Sepah Vans, commander of the police forces. Abdul Reza Ali Mohammadi, public and revolutionary prosecutor. Moving to East Azerbaijan province, Mohammad Masrur, commander of Naja special units. Abedin Khoram, commander of the Ashura Corps in East Azerbaijan. Hossein Abdi Fatabadi, commander of the police forces. In Tabriz County of East Azerbaijan province, Behruz Mahdavi, governor. Babak Mahbub Ali Lu, public and revolutionary prosecutor. In Isfahan province, Isfahan province had the sixth highest number of those killed citing Amnesty's uh, research. Isfahan province, provincial level, Hossein Sistani Mohammed Abadi, governor. Mojtaba Fada, commander of IRGC. Mehdi Masum Begi, commander of the police forces. Ali Isfahani, public and revolutionary prosecutor. In Najafabad County, in the Shahristan of Isfahan. Mushtaba Rai, Governor. Hujatullah Safari, Commander IRGC. Hussein, Mohammed Hossein Babakalani, Police Commander. Ali Zare, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor. Again, the, the model, you'll see the model has emerged that once you get down to the, the district or county level, it's, it's invariably the local governor, uh, IRGC forces, army if necessary, and, it, and this model is repeated over and over again. On to Fars province, the fifth highest number of the people killed, according to, uh, to Amnesty, with 24. At a provincial level, Enayatullah Rahimi, governor. Said Hashem Qiyasi, commander of Faj forces. In respect to Shiraz County, Mohammed Reza Amiri, the governor. Faraj Shojai, commander of the police forces. Haidar Asiabi, public and revolutionary prosecutor. Mir Jalal Musavi, Commander Naja Special Units. In Golestan province, only one at the provincial level, Ruh Olamin Qasimi, Commander of Police Forces. In Gorgon County of Golestan province in the northeast, 
Mohammed Hamidi, Governor of Gorgon, Vahid Fakhruddin, Commander of IRGC forces, and finally, Saeed Reza Saeed Husseini, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor. In Kerman province, at a provincial level, Ali Baba Raini, Governor, Abdul Reza Naziri, Commander of Police Forces, Dad Khoda Salari, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor, Mohammed Javad Fadai, former Governor of the province. In Sirjan County, in the province of Kerman, Mohammed Mahmoud Abedi, former Governor. Just to pause on him for a second, he, like Leila Vasari, he's another one of those individuals, the governors who, who went public to say that, the, that he commanded, that there was the order to, 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 to use lethal force um, uh, was handed down and that he asserted that it was to protect life. And yet uh, the research carried out by Justice for Iran in respect to, to that location uh, showed that there was no real evidence that protesters were in possession of firearms or that they posed an imminent threat to the life of others which would have warranted the use of, le of lethal force. Official sources announced that a few protesters were killed and some were injured. Moving on in Sir, in Sir John, uh, Mohammed uh, Mohsen Nik uh, Nikvaras, public and revolutionary prosecutor, Hossein Bahari, commander of IRGC, Mohammed Reza Iran Nejad, commander of Sir John Police Forces. Kerman Shah province, fourth highest number of people killed, um, according to Amnesty, with 30. At the provincial level, Fazlola Ranjba, Ranjbar, governor. Bahmani Rehani, commander IRGC. Ali Akbar Javidan, commander of the police forces in Kerman Shah. Mohammed Hossein Sadiqi, public and revolutionary court prosecutor. Kurdistan province, in the Marivan County, Artikas Ekbal, Governor, Mansur Valayi, Commander of IRGC, Ali Reza Safari, Commander of the Police, Sanandaj County of Kurdistan province, Mohammed Ibrahim Zarai, Governor, Hossein Askari, Commander IRGC, Ali Azadi, Police Commander, Mohammed Jabari, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor. Khuzestan province with the second highest number of those killed at 57 using amnesty sources. Provincial level, Hassan Shahvarpur, Commander IRGC. Qolam Reza Shariati, Governor. Abadan County of Khuzestan province, Zainal Abedin Musavi, Governor. Farmandar. Shapur Ahmadi, Commander IRGC. Saeed Mohsen Tahizadeh, Commander of Police Forces. By the way, we're on, um, we're on 88 of 130, or almost there. Hamid Marian, Maranipur, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor. Afaz County of Khuzestan Province. Jamal Alemi Naisi, Governor. Mohsen Dalvand, Police Commander. Abbas Hosseini, Hosseini Puya, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor. Behbahan County. Yusuf Zamani Asl, Governor. Abdullah Khairanpur, Commander IRGC. Mohammad Azizi, Police Commander. Ruhullah Zanzi, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor. Khuram Shar County. Kurosh Mavedat, Governor. Ali Reza Kharadmand, Commander IRGC. Hamad Ali Tarakani, Police Commander. Fakhere Bavi, Public and Revolutionary Prosecutor. Mahshar County, where some of the worst atrocities took place, including the deployment of uh, tanks, I think, uh, as the uh, coming days will, will show. Mohsene Beranvand, Governor. Reza Papi, Police Commander. Mehdi Mohammadi, Public Revolutionary Prosecutor. Karima Babayi, Commander IRGC. Shadagan County, sorry, Allah <laughs> Um, Said uh, Hajian Saidi, who's the governor of the county. Um, again, I'm using the Persian term. Sadeh Maniat, IRGC. Eskandar Jamashiani, police commander. Reza Kianirad, police revolutionary prosecutor. Tehran province, 
This one is the highest number of those killed, according to the figures uh, researched by Amnesty International, at 130. We've mentioned it a couple of times, I'm going to mention it one more time, that the governor of the district of, of Shahri Quds, the, the county, Leila Vasiri, uh, whom I'm about, or I will name in a second, she's the one, again, revealed in an interview published on the 22nd of November, that the policy to use lethal force had already been issued at the time that the unrest emerged in the district. According to, in, in Shahra Qods alone, again using the amnesty figures, they recorded the names and details of 10 individuals killed between the 15th and the 18th. True, true figures, councillor said previously, is, is expected to be, is believed to be much higher. At a provincial level, Anushirvan Mosini Bantpe, Tehran County, Esa Farahangi Sartangi, Governor, Ismail Kosari, Chief, uh, Deputy Chief Revolutionary Guard, Sarala Headquarters, Hussein Rahimi, Police Commander, Ali Al Ghazi, Mayor, Public Revolutionary Prosecutor, Baharistan County of Tehran Province, Mushtaba Khanjani, Governor, Yadullah Soleimani, Commander IRGC, Faramaza Rezai, Police Commander, Ghulam Reza Sadiqi, Public Revolutionary Prosecutor, Islam Shahr County, of Tehran province. Masoud Morsalpur, governor. Hadi Ilka, commander IRGC. Mehdi Karami, police commander of Islam Shar. Nurullah Tahiri, governor of Shahriyar. Mohsen Khanjali, commander of the police forces. We're almost there, it's at 124. Fayaz Alahyari, commander IRGC. Hamid Askaripur, public revolutionary prosecutor. Shahri Quds County, Shahristan of Tehran province. Uh, we've mentioned her before, and here she is. Leila Vasiri, the governor. Majid Kaviani, general and revolutionary prosecutor. Masoud Mukhtari, uh, mayor of Shahri Quds. Hussein Habibi, and finally Shapur Falahi, commander of the police forces in Shahri Quds. As I say, we wanted to say the names for those in Iran who could be watching, listening, that somebody out there is saying the names that these people, we hold these people responsible for the acts that took place in Arbonne, 1398, November 2019. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Daig. We can call now our first witness, Maryam Fumani. I understand before that uh, one of the panel members has a question. Okay. <clears throat> sure. Thank you very much for uh, that very interesting account. Um, I'd like to flag an issue. I don't need the answer now. But uh, mechanically, 12 out of 21 provinces uh, creates the impression that trouble happened in a minority of areas rather than in the entire country. And uh, therefore, information which might help is geographical and historical and political information in relation to the 19 provinces in which nothing happened. Possibly some kind of population statistics, and more importantly, information as to whether we only have evidence in relation to 12 provinces, or are we saying that uh, the trouble in 2019 was limited only to uh, 12 provinces? So speaking for myself, I would like to flag that issue and uh, uh, the case as it really is in, in, in relation to the provinces. Uh, thank you very much. I hope that makes some sense, and I don't need the answer now. <clears throat> thank you. In the statement of Ms. Shadi Satr that you will hear on Friday morning, she will provide you with details of the provinces where the disturbances have taken place, and it will cover almost entirely all the provinces in Iran except for two or three. So it's, it's a lot more than the, the numbers that you have quoted. But you will hear in full 
and you can raise the questions there on Friday morning when Ms. Sadz would give her evidence.